Hello Knight here, welcome back to my Stainless Steel campaign, playing as the Crusader States. Just need to alter the taxes here I think. There we go. Uh, right, okay, just a quick review of what's going on. I haven't played for a couple of weeks. Uh, we're pushing south towards the Fatimid Caliphate. We're trying to destroy this, this uh, group down here. You can see from the mini-map we've, we've made an initial... I'll just cancel that. We've made an initial attack on them and we've destroyed a lot of their territory. Um, they still own down here actually, saying that. Fatimid, so they own territory to the the west of us. Uh, although I hope not much more than that. Yeah, I hope we're not going to have to travel all the way down here. No, I don't think so. Um, Sicilian Watchtower, no, so that's fine. I think maybe there might be a territory here, I believe, that may be Fatimid. Yeah, Fatimid, Cyrenaica, Triple Tripolitania. So they own two territories to the west of us. And uh, we certainly hit their major territories. I need to finish this, this campaign off pretty quick. It's going to be quite difficult to do that. Um, they still own this territory here. Al Akbar, Gaza, Cairo, and Delmatia, I think that is. Delmatia. Uh, I think what I was doing, I was moving, I'm um, constructing an army up here, I think. Am I correct? I think I am correct. Yes, yes. And uh, we're going to move that south. Ready to say. We've made, I'll just speed things up. We've made quite a lot of progress against them, to be honest. The, the Caliphate, they're not. They're not the same power they were when we started attacking them. Uh, can't get much further south than here at the moment, I think. We may be able to get into here. Not quite sure, to be honest. We'll try that. Um, we're building some troops up here. To the north of us, we've got... Um, uh, we've got the Seljuks. Can't think of the can't think of their name for the moment. Um, yeah, they're fighting the Byzantines whilst they're killing each other. They're not attacking me, of course, which is good. I think the Byzantines are like the top um, faction, I think. That's true. For some reason, we're at war with Genoa and France as well. We we had a a crusade to Gaza. For some reason, they decided to attack us. I don't really understand why that happened. We had no political problems with them or anything, to be honest. There's no real reason for us to be attacked by them. Um, yeah, so weird stuff's going on. Um, Pope 67 could die any time, of course. Can we get a crusade? Let's have a look. Can we get a crusade against... Uh, Gaza would be nice, actually. You could get a crusade maybe against Gaza. Let's try that. No, I think he's refused. Yes, we're not quite really in these good books, to be honest. Um, faction wide, we're doing quite well. Um, College of Cardinals, we've got a guy right up the top there, actually, to be honest. Preferate is one of the three. Preferate, Renard de Aubusson. Living Saint, even by his enemies. Yeah, so it's these two, basically, Harold the Missionary, and um, between these two guys when the papal election occurs. I don't think we've got any other cardinals. Oh, yes, we have. Mark Modav. So we've got one cardinal. That's not good. <laughs> um, right. Okay, so what are we doing here? Let's have a look and see what we're doing here. I'm going to take out this army here. I think we can build another priest, actually. Yeah, I thought we could. And also these guys. These are good, decent guys. 11 units before we're going to get one of these guys. That is one of the things that you find with this... Um, that I'm finding with this faction thing, this mod, um, and this faction, we don't get much chance to build troops, to be honest. Um, that's, can we move them in there? Let's move them in there. That's happy. Um, I'm going to move them. Faction heir, Prince Rainier. He's not up to much, is he? Poulan, what's a Poulan? Can he be trusted? He 
priest's attire, converse in Arabic, is tolerant of pagan ritual. Can he be trusted? Minus one loyalty. We need to kill this guy. <laughs> he needs to go off and and die, basically. Poor with taxes. Oh gosh. He needs to go off and die somewhere. I'm going to put him on board the ship. Hopefully he can, can make sure that he has a a problem. Um, move those archers into Antioch. Antioch is a much better city than Adana in terms of money and what well, round to be honest. Um, yeah, we'll keep them there. We're okay here. What are we doing these guys? We're going to move these Diam, aren't we? Oh, that's interesting. We now can't move. That's very interesting. So, moving this guy in caused us a problem. Let's move him out. No, that's really weird. Okay, well, next turn we'll move down and, and attack maybe this, this group of people. Uh, we're going to swat ourselves out so we've got a decent army in Jerusalem. Going to move all the light troops out, I think, to move them. Going to move along the coast road. We've got this army northwest of um, Jerusalem that may cause us a problem. Let's move them in here. And let's merge these guys up. I'm going to move this guy. This guy's a bit of a beast, actually. He's got very good stats, I think. Look at that. He's only 30. That's excellent. Uh, we need to move some more troops in. Uh, let's move these two guys in here. Okay, what have we got here? A couple of guys. Tempted to move those north, actually. And what have we got in here? We've got four more slots. We need four more guys, four more decent guys. One, two, three. Four. Let's get in there. Let's move these guys north, I think, to here. And then we'll move them in here. Of course, they can't take us out in one turn. They're going to have to besiege us. They don't have weapons on board that I think will cause us problems. They don't have trebuchets. So that's fine here. I'm happy with this. If he moves north, we'll besiege, but we'll bring an army down and we'll have another army. Gaza, there's quite an army again. If he besieges, we'll then have the initiative to actually attack him. Same thing here. If he besieges here, we'll be able to move the Jerusalem army down, move Acre down, and uh, move this group of guys down. Yeah, okay, it's not too bad. Quite happy with that. We're being besieged in Medina, but we have a decent army here that can certainly deal with anything that's thrown at it, even if these two stacks were to get together we'd be able to hold that I think. I'm uh, going to push forward here. That's Terzar. We didn't lose any men at all which is good. Let's execute them. Fouk Fossard. He has no command ability whatsoever. He's an admin guy. Gets merry. Loyal. How did he get in charge of an army? <laughs> it's really... <laughs> I don't know how I did this. Um, anyway, let's, let's move to the bridge. By your will, yeah. So either way, if they attack us here, we'll be able to have a bridge battle. If they attack us here, we'll have a bridge battle. Um, we've got plenty of cash at the moment, I think. Although saying that, we're going down quite a lot. Um, I'm just going to have a quick look and see if we can do anything in the way of upgrading some of these places. St. John's St. John's major chapter house we could actually build. What would that give us? Two knights hospitalers. Hospitals are foot knights. Okay. I think maybe we'll go for that. Certainly need quality troops now. We've gone past the stage where we can spam out a marine. Um, I think you probably, and obviously you cannot afford to lose them. Um, catapults. Catapults. Maybe, maybe. 4,000. We're going to have to leave that for a while. I think I'm going to hang on to the rest of my money. Um, okay, I didn't realise I have a fleet here, actually. Quite a few ships. I think maybe it would make sense to move all my ships together. 
If we've got an army on board, we certainly don't want to lose it, these two generals. Okay, that's fine, I think. Um, this guy is just awful. Um, King Germain. Okay, can we move some of these things? Can we move some of them over? Let's see. See if we can do that. Because this guy is just rubbish. Some of these we should be able to move over. Perhaps he's already got an overseer. Yeah, he's already got an overseer. So that's improved the king. Um, I think Prince Rainier is going to be killed, I think. I think we're going to either put him on a ship or, or get rid of him somehow, I think. Okay, we're still building more guys here, which is good. Um, okay, yeah, we've got a, a weird Norwegian army up here that was... Um, they're here because of the crusade that we tried to get uh, down towards Gaza. Okay, right, let's end the turn. Let's see what happens. Pardon? Oh, it's because we made some troops. Okay, well that's okay. We've got three armies there that can come down and destroy that army. We will ride out and crush them. And we've got another army coming down from the north. So I'm conscious that I really need to do this quickly because the Seljuks could attack us at any time. Once they're dealt with the Byzantine menace. I mean, the most hopeful thing is that they just keep attacking each other for the whole time that, that we're developing. Because we'll need to convert, obviously, all these areas that are Fatimids. It's all Islamic at the moment. We need to make it Christian. Okay, it's slightly worrying. Okay, this is fine. None of this is really affecting us that's going on the rest of Europe. Hopefully Genoese don't turn up with an army to invade. It's just weird anyway. Why would the Genoese want to declare war on the Crusader state? It's very weird. Right. Uh, ooh. Gosh, that is tempting. It's about quality with, with these things, because obviously a priest costs the same to maintain anywhere. So I think we're going to go for this, actually. Only council, great council, they want 1,500 florins to aid switch wisdom. So we've got to do that, really. Kingdom of Denmark, Holy Roman Empire are at war. Quite a lot of recruitment going on still. Construction report. Action announcements. Clement de Lusignan. Okay, Kingdom of King of Jerusalem, tax 15%. Gosh, that's good. Loyalty is severely lowered since he is king, but few exceptions are the position of exceptional. I don't really understand that. Um, I say the Byzantine are like very, very high up there. So it might be seized. Okay, that's fine. We were expecting that, so that isn't a surprise at all. Um, I'm going to keep these guys here. What do we got here now? Okay, I think probably I'm going to move some of these spear guys down towards Antioch. Not probably, I am. Um, Turkish horse archers move to Antioch. And maybe even the javelin guys. Yeah, so we're going to use that as a staging post. These guys, these cities will just have to stand as they are and take the siege and then hopefully we can then have that mobile army come and help us. Um, but I feel this army won't be able to actually join in. He's too far away. But we have quite a lot of troops ready to attack this guy. And there was an army here. I don't know where it's gone. To be honest, let me move my bishops around. Where have they gone? 
That is so weird. Has he moved north? There was an army here, wasn't there? Where's it gone? Is it head south? It's a wee bit worrying. There's nothing here in Al Akaba, of course, which will which will be useful for us. That is so strange. We've lost track of where that army is, that's worrying. Okay, so there was a stack just here. But we can we can take this guy out now, I believe. Actually, let's merge these guys up first. Um, right, let's take everyone. Let's move them down to here. Let's take guys out of here. Of course, I say they can't take this city in one turn, so we can certainly afford. This is what I was planning on. Certainly afford to take everyone out. Uh, move them to destroy this army to concentrate our forces um, okay and I don't think I said I don't think this army can, can join in we can get them to here so they're safe I don't think they can yeah they can't move any more than that did we do a priest I think we do didn't we let's have a look or bishop rather we need to upgrade, oh we're besieged so we can't do anything about that, we need to upgrade the church in Jerusalem. That's something we need to do. So we start getting cardinals basically. I think that's true, I think we can do that. Okay, so our income has plummeted basically. And we're going to be in trouble I think. Soon. So we need to start taking their cities again. Um, what happened over here? Not much, not much kind of moved down towards us but didn't actually do anything. What's actually in this city? Okay, so I think he's maybe forming up here to defend Damatia. I was hoping that we could get a... We could get this army to come out and attack us. That would then destroy his garrison and then we could then take Cairo. Um, Plenty of troops in here, I think, to defend. Can we actually? Can't really recruit anything yet. Not for ages. Not any decent troops, anyway. Two turns to just get spear militia. Construction. What can we build? Nothing, basically. We just have no money. Okay. Right. We need to. Is that because Jerusalem is surrounded? It might well be that reason. Right. Let's. Gilles de Brock. Let's go for this this guy here. Oh, I missed him. Okay, really? Really? I'll just say that seems really... Um, that auto-resolve seemed really poor, to be honest. Perhaps I should have... Oh well, Fatimid Caliphate, we, we're at war with them. Well, you know, <laughs> I mean, how much worse can it get, to be honest? Not much worse, I would have thought. So we only had two armies there that took part in that battle. Maybe that's why the the um, the auto resolve was not so favourable as I was hoping. Uh, right, we can now move the agent out. Let's move him. I'm quite worried where these troops have gone. To be honest, quite worried. He seems to be forming around Gaza. We're going to go down here. Now we're going to head south, actually down here, to try and find out what's going on. See what's in this city. Still besieged us, but we've got ten turns, to be honest. So we've got lots of time to get down there and relieve that city. I may even try and fight my way out, to be honest. Wow, uh, let's have that. We'll have that. Unfortunately, that's the lot. Can we get that as well? I think we're then... We're actually in trouble, to be honest. I think we're in trouble with um, our finances. Um, of course, we have a lot of troops now. Um, there wasn't anything in there, was there? I don't think there was, was there? 
No. What I'm looking at here is possibly there were two stacks here, wasn't there? I think that was the problem. Yeah. We've got a stack here. A stack here. I wonder how much damage we actually did. Not a terrific lot. I mean, that's a very good garrison. They're all kind of upgraded. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Right. Well, we need to move some troops back to Kerak. Um, move these down. So we do have the opportunity to try and save um, cities once we're actually... Uh, I think we need to move south. I really think we do. Maybe not this turn, but next turn. Move south towards Gaza and fight a massive battle here. Maybe break their back and then we could take Al Aqaba. And then that will maybe draw some of these armies off. That maybe is a plan. Um, yeah, I think maybe that's what we'll do. I would like to build more priests, actually. I don't have enough funds. It's a bit annoying. I think maybe what I'm going to do is get rid of some of my marinade. I've got lots and lots of them, haven't I? Let's disband. I'd like those Turkish horse ar archers to be south, to be honest, down here. I'm going to try and move south this way. Eventually we'll get there. Okay. Right. Okay, well I don't think there's much more I can do here. I think I'm going to make sure we've got full stacks in all, all positions. Can he actually... Can any of these troops move? I don't think they can actually, to be honest. No. This guy can move. So what we're going to do is move some of his troops into here. One more guy. Okay, see this is pretty crap this army to be honest. Uh, it's got mainly, mainly Marine. Um They're just filling out and they're costing us quite a lot of money to be honest. Um, this guy we need to... Actually, what if we do that? Oh, we still end up with one, one shield. Right, get rid of that guy. Um, yeah, we're kind of basically full up here, aren't we? Can't, there's not much more we can do. Thought we were going to try and get this guy killed, actually. We're going to put him here on his own. Right, okay. Let's enter. It's interesting, they just killed the rebels. Ah, I think he's going for it. Right, so what's he got? Okay, we should be able to deal with this. I mean, they're pretty, pretty ranked up, some of these guys. Spear Militia. Um, but we should be okay. We've got some knights here that we can maybe use on, on the Nubians. They're mainly spears, actually. On the Javelin men, we'll go outside the... Yeah. Nearly all spear. Okay, let's go for this. We're going to fight this. Uh, we don't want to certainly auto resolve and then lose. It says it's one to one, so we're going to fight this on the map. We have the dogs now. Attack! 
I can't even remember if this is a castle or a town, to be honest. I think it might be a town. We certainly do not want to lose this city because it means they can then move, move on and take Mecca. I think this is Medina. But they'll then get back the Islamic forces or take back Mecca, which we certainly don't want to happen. Start deployment. The only thing that I don't like about this game is it seems very glitchy with the deployment of stuff. For instance, you know, you have trouble with pathfinding, etc. So basically I need this unit over here on the walls, just here, or these guys. I've got two lots there. Pardon? Kansas Holy Sepulchre, well, Kansas Holy Sepulchre, right, I actually had a unit up there. Um, right, okay. So we need to be where they're going to come up with the... So I want javelin men there, we need the Cannons of the Holy Sepulchre up there. Kurdish javelin men can be here. We need to hit the, the guys as these guys are coming along with the um, pilgrims. Well, they're no use at all. You just leave them where they are. Um, let's put these guys down here. And I think we'll put these guys here and we'll... Yeah, we'll do that. We can put these guys here. General moving back. If we can do that. Why can I not move him back? This is um, what I was saying about the game. Right, so it allows us to do that, but it won't let us to... Right, okay, I see. It only allows us to do that. Knights Hospitals, are we going to go out? Are we going to go out and attack? I'm tempted to. I think I'll maybe keep them inside. They've only got 27. So maybe we'll go here. I'll we'll keep this guy here. This guy here. So we've got three lots of cavalry. Light infantry are no good. Uh, well, I'm not saying they're no good, but they're not particularly good. I'm going to put those guys up there. those guys there these guys here see this is the problem I was having before it just won't right oh come on levy archers up here will they actually fire I don't know I hope they will we'll put them on back so they can actually fire at this and maybe set fire to it. Uh, Marine are not much use. We'll keep them in reserve. Um, these guys really need to be in reserve as well. They're not again they're not much use. Bedding infantry reserve. Pilgrims in reserve. Okay. So we need to... Right, why, why can we not get these guys to deploy? So two lots of spear guys, but they won't deploy. Right. Well, they won't deploy where I want them to deploy. Right, come on. Oh dear God. This is the, this is the one I had before. I just It becomes really frustrating, to be honest. Obviously I want them to be like here, but they just will not deploy in the way that I want them to deploy. <gasps> oh. oh, just stop the battle. Right, now, can they deploy where I want them to do? Let's just put them into guard mode. 
I don't really know what these guys are doing. Okay, let's get hold of the these guys, see if they can want to hit this tower. Well, actually, probably this would be the thing to hit if we can set fire to it. Are they actually firing? I don't know where they are. Not damaging it much, are we? Okay, well that's fine. We've got we've got this unit here. Where are my javelin men? Where do I put them eventually? Oh, that's okay. We're firing lots and lots of stuff. Still zero damage, which is crazy. Let's try hitting this. Yeah, we're not damaging that at all, that ram. Okay, so these guys are fine. We've got them into guard mode. Let's have a look and see where they're actually going to put the... The enemy have letters at the walls. Repel the attackers. Give them still. I can't hear you. See, this is... Oh, it's just... So, well, I mean, where are they going? Where are they going? I mean, I'm actually trying to put them here. Run, run, run. Come on, run. Okay, so we've got... Kurdish javelin men. That's interesting. Our has reached our walls with their siege tower. We must repel the invaders. Okay, let's bring those cannons over because they're not going to last too long against Nubian spearmen. Okay, well that's that's fine. We're okay at the moment. These guys won't the last too long, I don't think. Let's guard mode these. We should be able to defeat these guys. They should be tired in theory. And these guys can continue to fire on these. Yeah, we've got light infantry here fighting these guys, which is not a good idea, to be honest. Still saying victory is a uh, short. Okay, let's bring the old guard mode people in. Is he coming through the... Let's guard mode these people. They're only light infantry, so we should in theory beat them. Gate will be down soon. That's okay, we've got that... Got that covered. Okay, that should be fine. Victory seems certain. They've been sent back. I'll make sure our guys don't start climbing down after them, so we're going to put these guys into guard mode. Put these guys into guard mode, so they don't try and climb down. We're actually killing these guys. I'm not quite sure whether we are, to be honest. Okay, that's going okay. Right, we should have these guys beaten fairly soon. Shaken. Got 109 heavy infantry. So we should be killing these guys quite easily, to be honest. Um, right, what's happening here? Still firing missiles coming in anywhere else is he because I think that if this is the best he can do we're, we're fine defeat distinct possibility which seems certain yeah we're taking hits here but 96 against 85 okay I think we're winning there reloading Is this actually doing anything? Oh, the gate will go up shortly. Okay, so all these guys we need to guard mode. Okay, that's fine. 
we've got our cavalry here. I'm not quite sure how, they're, how we're going to deploy them, to be honest, because it's such a narrow street. I don't think we can do very much. Still winning up here. 66. Reloading. Keep those 15 cannons there. Okay. See how they do here. Okay, they're wavering. Here we've won. They're now obviously going to pile in. They're routing. It would be nice to actually send my cavalry around and destroy them completely, to be honest. Hmm, that's a possibility. Just got to wait for them to really start running away. They can come back, of course. The Nubian spearmen are very difficult to destroy, to be honest. Um, I'm surprised they're going so quickly. No way even shaken. Uh, we're going to bring down these cannons. No one else is trying to come up here, so we can bring these guys down as well. And have they defeated them over here? Not quite, they're still wavering. Yeah, they're going to keep coming back, I think, basically. So we should be able to destroy them. Let's guard mode these 15 guys. These cannons will guard mode and send them in. The enemy is badly blotted. They have lost half their men. Okay, let's see if we can bring these guys down yet. I think we've destroyed the guys who are up there, to be honest. I think they're all gone. Indeed. Idle but tired. Well, if we bring them down, just in case we need them. I don't think anyone else is coming up. Doubling men were still firing missiles. They're still firing missiles. Our men have slain the Saracen general. That's good. Send his men running back to the desert. Are they running? Are all of them running yet? Let's have a look. Shaken. Of course, we have to watch it because we don't want to get our own guys. What's outside the city walls? Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Let's destroy them. Kill them all. Let's speed things up. Let's go, go, go. Come on. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Spear militia, we need to avoid them. I want to charge straight into spear militia. That's a bad. Oh, they're going. They're going. It's okay. It's fine. Let's kill them all. This will be a decisive victory if we can get all of these guys killed off. Keep them broken. It's a nice lump of Nubian spearmen we can destroy. We'll get these javelin men. Let's continue. We must push our advantage. Things are going okay, we're keeping them going. Okay. Gonna 
quite where they're going. Let's try and get some sedimentary auxiliaries. They should be quite fast, the auxiliaries. These guys are tired, I think. They're winded. Okay. Keep after these guys, these Sudanese tribesmen. Okay, that's going all right. These guys are finished. Let's get after these. I think this is pretty much total, to be honest. We may be able to kill all of them. Got a few left here. They seem to be moving a bit in slow motion. Let's just speed things up a little bit. Because obviously this is the tedious bit. Have we got them yet? They're still... I haven't really got these guys either, but we should be able to catch them. In theory, because these guys should be... Speed militia should be slower then than these guys. Finish off them. Speed things up a bit more. Captain, so he's only a captain, he wasn't an actual family member or something, so not too not too much of a, a victory really. Although good, we've done exactly what we needed to do. This guy's getting plenty of experience. Let's go let's increase this up to six. Six speed, see if we can get them. Let's go. Come on, crash into them. I'm surprised the Syrian guys didn't catch them actually. Cavalry of course will. That's it. Our foe is utterly vanquished. Okay, so we lost one, four, five, and they lost sixteen hundred and forty-seven. That's good. Heroic victory. Just what we needed in the south here, in the um, Saudi Saudi Arabian Peninsula. We're gonna kill them. Yes, come on, attack me, come on. Good. So this in theory is a... This is going to be a bridge battle. So again, we should have the advantage here. What's he got? Oh, unfortunately he's got a catapult, so he can fire us from across the river. Arab cavalry, Arab infantry. Unfortunately, they've all got this um, upgrade. Spear militia haven't. Um, okay, he doesn't have many ranged units, does he, at all? I don't think he's got any, in fact. Yeah, so again, we should be able to do this. With a few losses, we've got plenty of archers, actually, in this army, which is good. Right, I think we'll be fighting this in the next episode. Thanks for your time watching. Um, hopefully we can destroy this army, and then that will just leave... Presumably that will leave another stack here. Hopefully they'll come out and fight me. Uh, we've got to wear these guys down. So as I've said, we can push down from Jerusalem to attack Gaza. That's going to be the aim. He's got two stacks there. Once we've got that, I believe that leaves him really open to our attacks. I'm not sure we'll be able to push up from here. I think maybe we'll just have to defend. This looks like quite a powerful Cathy of the Chivalrous. He's probably a family member quite strong. I can't see any stars though, to be honest. Um, yeah, okay. Well, uh, I say thanks for your time watching. I'll be speaking to you soon. Hope you're keeping well. Bye bye for now.